Hi, this is Professor Paul Knopfler here at UC Davis School of Medicine. I'm a stem cell biologist, but I also work on outreach and education. This video is part of a series of videos I'm doing about stem cells, just to try to fact check where things are at, uh, push back on stem cell clinics that are offering uh, sketchy things, even unethical things, and really just provide resources for people who need information that they can trust about stem cells. Today's video is focused on the idea of using stem cells as a therapy for Alzheimer's disease. So Alzheimer's is a really devastating disease. It's been known for decades, but we really still don't understand the cause of this disease. And that's been one of the main problems in trying to figure out treatments for it. So it's been thought for a long time that different pathological features, things you can see when you cut a section of brain from an Alzheimer's patient and, and look at it with different stains, different features there that are abnormal, these things called tangles and plaques that just aren't really present in the brains of people without Alzheimer's. A long time, for a long time, we thought those were actually what was causing the disease. And if we could get rid of those, that then perhaps the disease could be um, cured or at least treated or at least uh, halted in its progression. Uh, recent data kind of suggest, I would say over the last five years, especially that this hypothesis is, is probably too simple. And in fact, there's some other cause going on here. And it's possible that the different plaques and tangles that are seen when looking at the brains of Alzheimer's patients are more just uh, a secondary symptom or even a reaction of the brain to what's really causing Alzheimer's. So it's a very complicated, devastating disease. Uh, I have an intern named Nina who recently did a post about this idea of using stem cells uh, as a basis for Alzheimer's disease. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and kind of walk through her post and talk about some of the key issues here. All right. So here's her post, uh, it's entitled Stem Cells, uh, Alzheimer's Disease Research. And, and this is just a, a latest uh, item on my blog called The Niche. You can see there are different resources here for patients, for other scientists. So I encourage you to check it out. It's at ipsl.com. I'll include that link and the link to this post actually in the text along with this video. So I thought I would start out by talking about a patient story. So I'm a PhD, I'm not a, a physician, but a lot of patients reach out to me because they're wondering what to do about a certain situation in their family. Maybe they or a loved one have a disease like Alzheimer's disease, and they just don't have a good resource for factual information. As I mentioned earlier, there are all these stem cell clinics out there trying to sell people on the idea that stem cells can be used to treat almost anything you could find in a medical dictionary from A to Z, including Alzheimer's disease. But really, in almost every case, there's no evidence or almost zero evidence that uh, these different stem cell injections uh, can actually treat uh, different diseases like Alzheimer's disease. And in fact, in many cases, what these clinics are offering, even though it's marketed as stem cells, they don't even really have living stem cells in there. So in the space with Alzheimer's disease, unfortunately, there's a lot of clinics uh, marketing the idea of stem cells for Alzheimer's disease again, based on very little evidence. So I would say there's a lot of predatory activity going on out there. And this kind of brings me back to this uh, patient story. So several times a year, I, I hear from families of patients with dementia, most often with Alzheimer's disease, asking about the idea of using stem cells uh, for Alzheimer's disease. And so this is really what happened with this latest patient who, uh, or family member who reached out. Uh, this was the child of an Alzheimer's patient and uh, the patient and the spouse, um, so both parents of the person who reached out to me, were sort of uh, gung-ho about potentially going to this stem cell clinic to get supposed treatment for Alzheimer's disease. And the injections in, in this particular case uh, involves uh, something called amniotic membrane or amniotic fluid. So this clinic was selling the idea that quote unquote stem cells from amniotic materials could be injected IV into patients, and this would somehow help Alzheimer's disease. And, and fact-checking this, there's really no basis for that. This seems like total baloney to me. Unfortunately, many patients and families are very vulnerable to this, though. There's, there's a lot of difficulty in, in knowing when something is totally bogus or not. And I would say in the Alzheimer's space, when people are selling you this idea of using stem cells for Alzheimer's disease right now, and you have to pay $5,000, $10,000, $20,000 for this, uh, it really sounds too good to be true. And it is, it's just, it's just not true. 
And these folks are really just out to make money. Um, you know, if there really was a stem cell treatment, uh, whether it's amniotic stem cells or bone marrow stem cells or some other kind of stem cells that work for Alzheimer's, we would already know about this. It would be on the front of the New York Times, be on TV, and that's just not the case. So this patient reached out and, or I should say again, this family member reached out about the patient who was her father, asking what to do about this particular clinic. And uh, it was great to see this patient had, um, this patient's family had already done research, had already contacted the FTC and was going to contact the FDA because this clinic was claiming that stem cells could uh, treat Alzheimer's disease, which again is really just not true. So I just provided more resources for this um, child of the Alzheimer's patient for um, you know, more things that they could do, reach out to different regulators and authorities and, and just provide a reassurance that their gut feeling that something was really wrong here was actually right on the money. And, and just kind of discuss a little bit about the idea of stem cells for Alzheimer's disease. Um, you know, there is the possibility that in the future, stem cell based therapies could actually be helpful in Alzheimer's disease. I've kind of gone through some of these things. I'm just kind of scrolling down in the post about um, background on Alzheimer's disease. If we think about hypothetical stem cell treatments for Alzheimer's disease in the future, and this would be based on either future or currently ongoing clinical trials, there's really two main mechanisms whereby stem cells in theory could be helpful. And one is that uh, if you actually injected true stem cells directly into the brain, those cells might be able to replace dead or damaged brain cells. And so this is sort of a cell therapy kind of approach. Uh, of course, you'd have to have the right kinds of stem cells that could produce brain cells like neurons or glia. And you'd have to be really careful about safety because anytime you're injecting uh, laboratory produced cells into the brain or other tissues, there's a worry that they could grow too much or do something else. So there, there's a lot of work that would have to be done there. The second possible mechanism whereby stem cells could be helpful is you would either inject stem cells or differentiated cells made from those stem cells um, into the brain. And those cells wouldn't replace dead or dying cells, but the, the injected cells would secrete helpful growth factors. They would sort of bathe the surrounding brain tissue in healing, uh, sort of a healing soup of different growth factors that would tell cells not to die or to heal themselves, maybe reduce inflammation. And so this would kind of help uh, reduce the damage that Alzheimer's progression uh, is doing. So there's a lot of work going on with different kinds of stem cells that my um, student Nina covered in this post. Uh, and so embryonic stem cells, mesenchymal stromal slash stem cells or MSCs, neural stem cells, iPS cells. There are different studies going on, whether in the lab or in clinical trials related to these different kinds of stem cells uh, and Alzheimer's disease. A lot of this work um, is going on in rodent models, which um, can teach us a lot, but have a number of limitations that Nina goes through. And then she also just kind of goes through how complicated Alzheimer's disease is, and that makes it more difficult to both understand and to try to treat. And finally, uh, uh, I helped her kind of wrap up the post with this latest development on this uh, product, Aduhelm, I guess it's called. Um, that recently got FDA approval uh, from Biogen. And there was a lot of controversy over this because one trial was somewhat encouraging, another trial was discouraging about its potential. And so it really seemed like the jury was kind of out on whether this product could be helpful for Alzheimer's patients. Nonetheless, the FDA approved it anyway. And I think just all the discussion around this and the complexity of the trials and everything highlight, you know, even in the stem cell sphere, how hard it would be to get an approved therapy that is really has a really good chance of being safe and effective. Finally, the post is wrapped up with a bunch of helpful resources. Uh, and I also want to just circle back to this image here, which is showing plaques and tangles. And this is from a fellow researcher, Dr. Jose Luna, uh, at the National Dementia Biobank down in Mexico. And I just wanted to thank him for allowing us to use this image because it's such a striking image of this uh, these pathological features that one can see in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. Again, these may not be the cause of Alzheimer's. We don't really know for sure, but they are at least definitely uh, indicative of a patient having Alzheimer's. And they could have some pathogenic role as well. We just at this point don't fully understand it. So I think I'll go ahead and stop there. And I, again, I encourage you to read the post. 
If you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. We're trying to, again, get factual information out there. And again, if you're a family member or you yourself is considering some kind of stem cell therapy, whether it's for arthritis or Alzheimer's or something else, uh, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And that's, that's kind of where we're at in the Alzheimer's area. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.